how are you today i believe your week was awesome praise the lord hallelujah my name is auntie dami and i welcome you to do today's winners kids online service praise the lord but before we begin let's say our hopeless prayer i want you to rise up to your feet close your eyes and say amen when necessary father in jesus name heavenly lord we give you all the glory we give you all honor we give you all adoration we have come back oh lord just to say thank you we praise the lord all the teachings for today oh lord let it be a part and parcel of our lives in jesus name let the teaching oh lord make a meaningful impact in our lives in jesus name let those children oh lord be a blessing to their generation in the name of jesus their week is blessed in jesus mighty name and oh lord we pray you open up their eyes to more understanding of the word in jesus precious name amen thank you precious lord for answering our prayer for in jesus precious and wonderful name we have prayed amen praise the lord hallelujah so it is time to return all the glory back to god so get on your feet and let's sing clap and dance to the lord
Welcome back, children. Did you dance? That was an awesome praise to God, isn't it? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So, children, I believe you're ready to listen to the word of God. Please get your Bible, your writing material ready, and be ready to take down some important notes. Are you ready? Okay, so get everything ready. Amen. So, our, the theme of the month, yeah? The theme of the month says, Thanksgiving preserves, multiplies, and perfect our blessings. And that shall be taken from Luke 17 verses 12 to 19. Can we say that again? Thanksgiving preserves, multiplies, and perfect our blessings. Amen. Luke 17 verses 12 to 19. Praise the Lord. Now we are moving on to our memory verse. So what is our memory verse for this month? So our memory verse is, this is the Lord's doing. And it is marvelous in our eyes. And that shall be taken from Psalms 118 verse 23. I repeat, Psalms 118 verse 23. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we're moving on to a Bible text. What is our Bible text? Our Bible text shall be taken from the book of Matthew 14 verses 14 to 21. Did you write that down? Matthew 14 verses 14 to 21. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And um, I'm going to read just verse um, 21. And it says, there were about 5,000 men there who had, as well as women and children. So we all know the story how Jesus fed the 5,000 people. And then there was still surplus. There was surplus, you know. So a Bible character for today is Jesus. Okay? Jesus. And the Bible story is Jesus feeding the 5,000. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So children, at the end of today's lesson, you all should be able to understand the benefit of thanksgiving. Praise the Lord. So that brings us to our teaching for today. We say benefit of thanksgiving. Wow. So the topic is, what are the benefits of thanksgiving? In your own understanding, what do you understand by the word thanksgiving? What is the benefit? Why should we give thanks to God? Okay. So children, remember that we just celebrated our 40 years of liberation mandate. Praise the Lord. And last week, we looked at the importance of thanksgiving. And we said, Thanksgiving is a commandment from God and it is for our own benefit, it's for our own profit. Okay, so today we will be looking at the benefit of Thanksgiving, as I said earlier. Number one, Thanksgiving releases fresh oil, and this oil destroys. All yoke, any yoke, okay? Any yoke, maybe a yoke of sickness, yoke of stagnation. This thanksgiving can destroy the yoke. It gives us fresh oil, okay? So when we are thankful, your tank will be always be full with fresh oil. Praise the Lord. And Psalms 92 verse 10 emphasizes on it. It says, but my own shall doubt exalt like the own of a unicorn i shall be anointed with fresh hoy praise the lord hallelujah so number two benefit of thanksgiving is 
Thanksgiving makes God to take over our battle. Remember, the battle is not yours, but of the Lord. So when God takes over your battle, you are victorious. You are more than a conqueror. Praise the Lord. Psalms 92 verse 11 says, My eyes also shall see my desire on my enemies, and my ears shall hear my desire of the wicked that rise up against me. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So we're making, going further to the third benefit of Thanksgiving. So what is Thanksgiving? The benefit of Thanksgiving is Thanksgiving empowers us to continue to flourish when our focus is on God. So the more thankful you are to God, the more God will increase you. The more God will multiply you at all sides. Psalms 92 verse 12 and 13. Okay, but I will be reading 13 because of our time. It says, Those that be planted in the house of God, of the Lord, shall flourish in the court of our God. Praise the Lord. I repeat that again. Those that be planted in the house of the Lord shall flourish in the court of our God. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I hope you're putting something down. Now let's move on to number four benefit of Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving causes us to scale new heights, like new dimensions. You're going higher. Okay. It also gives us spiritual speed and it is a spiritual lift. Hallelujah. An example is when you're using a lift in a 10 story building. Or climbing a stairs, which one would you prefer? Which one do you think is easier and quicker? Hmm? I'm sure it's the lift, right? Good. So that is how Thanksgiving is. The more thankful you are, the more the upliftment goes. Like psh, that eye, you know? Praise the Lord. And Psalms 92 verse 12 says, The righteous shall flourish like the palm tree. It shall grow like a cedar in Lebanon. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. So now, number five benefit of thanksgiving, why it is very important that we give thanks to God. Thanksgiving empowers us to remain fruitful until a old age, okay? So thanksgiving empowers us to remain fruitful, for us to multiply, you know? You are not permitted to be barren because you're giving thanks to God. So whatever it is you're giving thanks to God for, he will supply it. He will multiply it for you. Praise the Lord. Romans 4 verse 19 emphasizes on it and says, And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body, now dead when he was about an hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah womb. No matter what, God will always prove himself God as long as you are very, very appreciative. Praise the Lord. So now, it's time for our faith talk. Are you ready? Yes, I am. So now, say after me. I will always be thankful to the Lord. Again, I will always be thankful to the Lord. Amen. So now it's activity time. How you excited? Me, I like this part. I like the part of activity. Yes. So, you know, your activity is to write a short sentence on what you understand from the picture Thank mm -hmm. you.
see your activities. So please send a clear picture of your activities to the email displayed on your screen right now. And also, remember to write your name, your age, and your location on your activity for us to be able to identify you. Well done, children, and God bless you. So, children, it's time for us to say our prayer of salvation. For you to become a child of God and for God to accept your thanksgiving, you have to open up your heart and receive Jesus as your Lord and personal Savior. So please say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, come into my life. Wash me with your precious blood. I know that you died for me. Forgive me my sins and write my name in the book of life. Now I know that I am born again. So help me God. Amen. If you said that prayer after me, congratulations. It means you are now a child of God. Praise the Lord. So now it's time for our closing prayer. So let's rise up, close our eyes, and then we say the closing prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for the teaching of today. We thank you for teaching us how important it is or the benefit of thanksgiving. Father, Lord, please give us the grace to continue to give you thanks at all times, O oh Lord. Father, we have learned so much, O oh Lord, that the more thanksgiving we give, the more you will enlarge us, the more you will lift us, the more you will flourish us in every aspect of our life, the more you will even supply all our needs and multiply us. Father, we give you all the glory, Lord. Father, we have come like that one leper just to say thank you. Oh Lord, let your thanksgiving and your thank your praises never cease from our heart in the name of Jesus. This children are blessed in Jesus mighty name. Their weak are blessed in Jesus mighty name. Anything that they need, oh Lord, provide for them and then they will be appreciative. They will be thankful oh Lord. Thank you Lord for your word. In Jesus precious and wonderful name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. So we say Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Oh, don't go yet. It's time for our covenant greetings. Praise the Lord. We all know how we do it, right? I'm the caller, you the respondent. So, let's go. Welcome to 2021, your year of supernatural turnaround. I receive and believe this prophetic vendor. Then expect turnaround to become your new identity from henceforth. The same shall be your portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen congratulations so please stay safe and god bless you bye and have a lovely week see you soon